Okay, a quick tutorial. <coughs> a quick tutorial on dynamic keyword insertion, which we recommend you don't really use, but if you insist. So dynamic keyword insertion, or DKI, means it's like a merge field, where you put in the word keyword, and whatever they type, whatever keyword they enter, goes into your ad copy. Just like those form letters you get that said, hey, dear Howie, you've won this. Howie, you've got to take us up on this. Howie, this is your last chance. Well, you probably don't get Howie, but I do. Anyway, here's the format. Left squiggle, or curly bracket, or whatever you want to call it. The word keyword, the colon, no spaces, and then the default text and then end bracket, end squiggly bracket, or write, write curly bracket. Now, def you don't write the word default. You'd write whatever you want to appear in the ad if their keyword is too big, if it won't fit. What do I mean by that? Suppose you're, uh, you sell toiletries online, and you've got a line of uh, flavored toothpastes. So you could do get keyword colon yummy toothpaste here. Yummy toothpaste is if they type in a keyword that is not going to fit. So what do I mean by that? If this is a description line, you get 35 characters. So get is four characters with the space and then whatever keyword they put in is going to take up the rest of it, and then space here is another five. So you got a total of nine characters taken on this line. 35 characters available, nine already used. That means there's 26 left. So if the search term if that they type is 26 characters or fewer, what they, fewer, it appears in the ad, whatever they type. Caramel toothpaste, wintergreen toothpaste, chocolate toothpaste, but if the search term is 24 characters or more, maraschino cherry toothpaste, the default ad appears. So here we go, wintergreen toothpaste, 22 characters, get keyword colon yummy toothpaste here, turns into get wintergreen toothpaste here, and it's bolded because the keyword's always bolded in the ad text. What if it's maraschino cherry toothpaste? Uh-oh, 28 characters, too much, so therefore, that turns into get yummy toothpaste here. Got it? So there's three capitalization formats. And here they are. The first one we saw, lowercase k, lowercase w in keyword. Then there's uppercase k, lowercase w. That will capitalize the first word, letter of the first word, but nothing else. And then there's capital K, capital W, which will capitalize the first letter of every single word, regardless of how they type it. So when should you use DKI? Only when all the keywords in an ad group are the same type. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. They would all make equal sense in an ad. So here's an example. college sportswear. So let's say you sell football jerseys for 150 different colleges. So you can see here at the top I've done 35 characters so we got a sense of what we're looking at. And you can see Oklahoma football jerseys, Alabama football jerseys, Notre Dame football jerseys, etc. And you'll notice that they're all exact match. They all have square brackets front and back. That's important. So if this is your ad at the top, show your school colors, college clothes for you.com slash jerseys, then the entire second description line is keyword, and you'll notice that the K and the W are capitalized so that every word that they type turns out capitalized in the ad, and then the default is college football jerseys, all sizes in stock 35% off. If someone types in Princeton football jerseys, yeah, they will see Princeton football jerseys in the third line. If they type St. Brutus's Secure Center for Incurably Criminal Boys football jerseys, however, they're just going to see the default college football jerseys. So when should you not use? 
You shouldn't use it if the keywords are other than exact match because you want total control of what goes in there. If you have phrase or broad, you don't have control and weird things could show up in your ad. And so you don't have enough control of the ad text and also you have too much potential exposure to bad keywords. So if someone types in a keyword that's really not relevant, if you're using broad match, Google is looking to send you as much traffic as they can, so they're going to be fairly liberal. If you type in college jerseys, someone might type, you know, be searching for college in New Jersey, and your ad would show. And so if they see in that line, college in New Jersey, in that second description line, your ad all of a sudden not only doesn't make a sense, but it seems more relevant than it is because it has their keyword exactly as they typed it, fully bolded. So you'll get a lot more bad clicks, unqualified prospects costing you money. Don't use DKI when your keywords aren't of the same semantic structure meaning they don't fit in the same way in your ad. So for example, one keyword is wintergreen toothpaste. If someone types in wintergreen toothpaste, they see get wintergreen toothpaste here. Perfect. But what if they type in buy wintergreen toothpaste? Well, there's still a prospect. There's still a great prospect or even possibly a better prospect. But if you're using DKI, your ad suddenly says get buy wintergreen toothpaste here. So that's starting to sound like um, I can has cheeseburger. It doesn't make any sense. And the last thing you want to be careful of is generally you don't want to use DKI when you don't have hyper relevant landing pages for each keyword. So for example, if you have Notre Dame football jerseys and that person who types in that specific search goes to the same page as the people who type in Alabama and Princeton and Cornell and Mississippi, and they're just getting to a general page where they have to do their search again after they've already done the work. That's starting to feel like when you're on hold at the, with your credit card company, and every time they transfer you to somebody else, they make you repeat all your information, your credit card number, your PIN, your security code, your mother's maiden name, all that stuff. So how do you do that? How do you create hyper-relevant landing pages for each keyword? You can do it simply in the keyword list. You can go to your keyword uh, in AdWords and then on the right, destination URL, hover over that, you'll see the pencil and then you can edit and put in your own special uh, URL that you've already built for that one. So here you have for red widget we have red.php. If for blue you do blue.php and, and so on. And that's the best way to make sure your DKI populated ads are serving up landing pages that are going to be relevant and useful to your searchers.